a new scheme coined by a notorious group of crypto scammers who have pulled rugs with previous projects such as Magnate, Kakomo, Lindora, and Soulfire, has been released, meant to for users of the Blast network, via at Leaper Finance Twitter account. Further, their newest scam is to send approximately $1 million of what an investigation determined was laundered money from previous scams into an address on Blast. They start the liquidity additions that will trap the innocent, uh, the research carried out by on-chain investigator Zach XBT, along with Bax137, has exposed the type of activities that this gang engages in. The rug pulls them out to huge in sums of TVL. And these happen after rigorous faking of KYC documents, as well as the use of low-tier audit firms, which could be used to create a false sense of the project's legitimacy. Um, the sad part is that the approach has been so deceptive for investors who were never aware that they would lose a lot. Um, it, besides Leaper Finance, they recently launched several similar schemes and many other prominent networks such as Base, Solana, Scroll, Optimism, Arbitrum, Ethereum, and Avalanche. Uh, a project called Zebra Lending, it's implemented on Base and currently live with the TVL of 311K, might be a part of the same group of scammers uh, to users who deposited funds in uh, Leaper Finance, Glory Finance on Arbitrum with an overall TVL of $1.4 million uh, or any other project tied to the scammers. Uh, the efforts of cash out uh, as well as withdrawn of assets is, is highly recommended. Uh, uh, the sudden cessation of activities in Leaper Finance uh, and Glory Finance X accounts is a clear indication uh, that these fraudulent firms can be dangerous uh, and should be avoided. So the fact that their websites are offline now shows that these ventures are not legitimate. Um, all three projects mentioned here of are said to be compound version 2 forks, suggesting an ongoing replication and exploitation in the DeFi ecosystem. A striking aspect about the top holders in Glory Finance is that it involves added liquidity which might be from other scams like Crow and Hashdot on Hellhound Fi. The DeFi and wider crypto community continue to be on the watch against such menace. Users are required to exercise the utmost suspicion and conduct thorough research before participating in any DeFi project. Uh, through constant awareness and suspicion toward projects that carry negative signs or present an unsatisfied breakdown of the scheme, individuals can better avoid falling into fraudulent schemes that pose a real threat to the integrity of the decentralized finance space, which is still vulnerable.